And business is booming at many drive-in movie theaters across the country as people seek entertainment while trying to practice social distancing. Out here in Maryland, the current phase of the reopening during the pandemic has the last remaining drive-in movie theater in the state still closed. We have WMR2 News Mark Roper there at Benji's in Middle River. So Mark, people maintain social distancing in their cars. What is keeping Benji's closed right now? Good morning, Christian. Well, when you buy a ticket to enjoy a night out at Benji's, you're paying a tax, not just any tax, an amusement tax. And it's that distinction which is keeping the screens at Benji's dark for now. Now, the coronavirus has drive-in theaters across the country making a comeback just about everywhere except at Maryland's one and only drive-in, Benji's in Middle River. The owner of the popular Baltimore County drive-in says the state is not allowing the theater to open, despite Governor Hogan having lifted the stay-at-home order and the easing of some restrictions as the state begins to reopen. And Benji's owner, D. Vogel, wonders if churches can have drive-in services, why can't he open up his drive-in? But Vogel points out the difference is his business pays a tax. I pay a tax, an admissions and amusement tax, and therefore the state says you're an indoor theater. Pretty ridiculous if you ask me. It's heart-wrenching. When I look at that screen and it's crying for light and I don't have people here and I cannot be a showman. Now, Benji's has received support to open from people like Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski, who told us in a statement that the county is actively doing all it can to ensure the theater can safely reopen as soon as possible. Again, the state isn't letting that happen as of now, but a spokesperson for the governor says this is something we continue to evaluate as we move through the recovery. Now, Vogel says if Benji's were open, it would have been packed over the holiday weekend. And he says if he can't reopen soon, he might have to close for good. We're live in Middle River. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.